The duration of treatment depends on the severity of your infection and the location of your infection, but usually it's between one to three weeks. Hey there, welcome back to How to Medicate and welcome to this new video on how and when to use doxycycline. I already made several videos on different antibiotics and you can find all of those in a playlist in the description. Furthermore, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is Raoul, I'm a medical doctor from the Netherlands and I'm making weekly medical videos to educate myself as well as you, my viewer. Because I believe that medically educated people make healthier decisions and that's what this channel is all about. Furthermore, this video comes with a quick disclaimer. It's meant purely informative. This is not medical advice. And if you're looking for medical advice, always contact your own doctor. Now let's get started. Now the generic name of this medication is doxycycline, but it's sold under several brand names. Dorex, Doxyhexyl, Doxylin, e And it's available as capsules, some of which are controlled release, as tablets, some of which can be resolved in water, and as injections. Now then, how can you use doxycycline? First of all, swallow the tablet or the capsule with half a glass of water. Don't break them, don't chew on them, because this can lower the effectivity of this medication. However, as I just said, some of the tablets can be resolved in water. If you're looking for those, just ask your pharmacist. It's also important that you take this medication after you ate some food. This can lower your stomach complaints and always take this medication on fixed times. Preferably in the morning or in the evening, this makes it less likely that you forget a dose. The duration of treatment depends on the severity of your infection and the location of your infection, but usually it's between one to three weeks. However, it can be a lot longer, up to even years, in some extreme cases. And lastly, it is important that you do not interrupt the treatment and you finish it completely, even if your symptoms have disappeared before your treatment has ended. Because this doesn't mean the bacteria have disappeared as well, so finish your treatment. Now, doxycycline is used in serious infections caused by microorganisms sensitive to doxycycline. Here I will list the most common infections for which doxycycline is used. It can be used for Lyme disease, malaria, anthrax, lower respiratory tract infections such as pneumonia, infections of the urinary tract such as chlamydia or syphilis, gastrointestinal infections or skin infections such as acne or an animal bite for that matter. This brings us to the question, what is the correct dosage to use of doxycycline? And this depends on many indicators. Severity of the infection, the location of infection, your body weight, the sensitivity of the microorganism. Therefore, it's important you always use the dosage and frequency your doctor prescribed you. I will just provide you here with some general guidelines and always stick to the prescribed amount. For adults using tablets or capsules, the correct dosage usually is 200 mg once a day or 100 mg twice a day, so every 12 hours. And the usual duration of treatment is one to three weeks, but this can differ. Now, have you forgotten a dose and it's less than four hours until your next dose? Then just skip it and add the forgotten dosage at the end of your treatment. Now, doxycycline is a very effective antibiotic, but unfortunately, it can have some side effects. I will discuss the most common side effects here, but if you're looking for a complete list, just ask your pharmacist or doctor or check your leaflet. Commonly, so 1 to 10% of all patients will experience high blood pressure, headache, vaginal complaints, stomach complaints, dry mouth. It can cause tooth discoloration in children, nausea and a rash. Uncommonly, a tenth of a percent to a percent of patients will experience a headache, vomiting or diarrhea. Now this brings us to safety. The usage of doxycycline can be dangerous for people with kidney or liver complaints and for those who are hypersensitive to tetracyclines. Doxycycline can also have some interactions with other drugs. Therefore, always ask your own doctor if doxycycline is safe for you. Here it is also important to note that the effectivity of doxycycline is impaired when you combine it with dairy products like yogurt, cheese, these kind of things. So after using doxycycline, please wait at least two hours before you eat any dairy products. And on a positive note, you can combine doxycycline with driving, there are no impairments there, and you can combine it with alcohol, however, don't combine both of those. Regarding pregnancy and lactation, doxycycline can be dangerous for your unborn baby. Therefore, always ask your doctor if there is a safer alternative for you to use. That's important. Now, I hope you learned something because educated people make healthier decisions. And that's what we're all about here at How to Medicate. But if you do have any questions left, let me know in the comment section and I will do my best to answer all of them. Now, all that rest me is thank you for watching my videos. 
feel free to leave a like. This will help out my channel tremendously. And if you never want to miss such an awesome medical video again, then consider subscribing. And you will also help me to reach my 3K milestone. Thank you for watching. And as always, I will see you next week. Bye bye.